Welcome back to the Hydrogen Studies Podcast. Today's topic hits close to home for a lot of people, metabolic syndrome. Maybe you felt it creeping in. Your waistline's expanding, your blood pressure's rising, your energy's dropping. You go to the doctor and they say your fasting glucose is borderline, or your triglycerides are up. It all sounds vague and scattered, but it points to a single dangerous trend. Your metabolism is out of sync. Metabolic syndrome now affects over a third of adults in many countries, and it's growing. But here's the twist. A new wave of research suggests molecular hydrogen, yes, hydrogen in water, might be one of the simplest tools to fight back. And today we're diving into real human trials, animal studies, and cell-level mechanisms showing how hydrogen-rich water could improve blood sugar, reduce fat, cut inflammation, and even reprogram your gut and your heart. Let's get into it. This is the Hydrogen Studies Podcast, sponsored by Echo Water. So what exactly is metabolic syndrome? Metabolic syndrome isn't a disease. It's a warning system, a red flashing light on the dashboard telling you your metabolic engine is overheating. It's defined by a cluster of risk factors, high blood pressure, elevated blood sugar, low HDL, the good cholesterol, high triglycerides, and fat gathering around your waistline called visceral fat. If you have three or more, that's metabolic syndrome, and it means your body is stuck in a cycle of inflammation, insulin resistance, and oxidative damage. You're not just gaining weight or feeling tired. Your cells are malfunctioning at the molecular level. So what's driving that malfunction? The answer comes down to something your body produces every day, oxidative stress. When your cells burn fuel to create energy, especially in the mitochondria, they generate the waste products called free radicals. These molecules are unstable and reactive, like little sparks flying off an engine. Normally, your body can neutralize them with antioxidants and enzymes, but in metabolic syndrome, those sparks turn into a fire. Why? Because your body is under constant attack from processed food, sedentary behavior, poor sleep, chronic stress, or even environmental toxins. All of these ramp up the production of harmful species like hydroxyl radicals and peroxynitrite. These are the heavy hitters of cellular damage. They oxidize your fats, scar your arteries, inflame your tissues, and impair insulin signaling, making it harder for your body to regulate blood sugar and fat. And that's how you slide into chronic inflammation, weight gain, high blood pressure, and eventually diabetes or heart disease. Here's the twist. Traditional antioxidants like vitamin C and E don't always work well in this environment. They can't get inside cells fast enough, and sometimes they actually block the body's beneficial stress signals. But this is where molecular hydrogen stands apart. If you've been with us for a while, you already know that one of hydrogen's superpowers is its size. It's the smallest molecule in the universe, which allows it to diffuse right through cell membranes, even into the mitochondria. And instead of indiscriminately wiping out all free radicals, it's selective. It targets the most toxic ones, like hydroxyl radicals, while leaving the beneficial ones alone. According to a comprehensive review published in Biochemistry and Biophysics Reports in 2025, hydrogen's effects include reducing oxidative stress, supporting mitochondrial function, balancing redox signaling, and even mod modulating inflammation and metabolism. In other words, hydrogen doesn't just clean up the damage, it restores balance to the system. So before we talk about studies in humans or animals, we need to appreciate this deeper truth. Metabolic syndrome isn't just about overeating or under-exercising. It's about a breakdown in cellular balance, and molecular hydrogen is emerging as a tool to rebalance that system from the inside out. Let's shift from humans to the lab, where researchers can dig deep into what hydrogen does inside the body because before anything reaches clinical trials, it's tested in controlled animal models that mimic the human condition. And when it comes to metabolic syndrome, two studies stand out. Researchers designed a study using diet-induced obesity mice, essentially feeding them a high-fat diet to trigger the hallmarks of metabolic syndrome, weight gain, inflammation, high triglycerides, and cardiovascular dysfunction. Then they gave these mice molecular hydrogen water as their drinking source. What happened next? Heart structure and function improved. Mice drinking hydrogen water had reduced heart weight and improved less left ventricular function, meaning their hearts could pump blood more effectively, despite being on a high-fat diet that usually causes cardiac stress. Blood vessels got healthier, 
hydrogen water widened capillaries and arterioles, and activated ENOS phosphorylation, which supports nitric oxide production and better blood flow. This helps reduce the, va the vascular stiffness often seen in obesity-related cardiovascular disease. Fat tissue shifted toward a healthier profile. Instead of just storing fat, adipose tissue began to take on a more metabolically active role. Hydrogen water promoted thermogenic gene expression in brown fat and improved white fat morphology, indicating a shift from hypertrophy to hyperplasia. Vascular repair capacity increased. Hydrogen water boosted the number and activity of endothelial progenitor cells, which help repair blood vessels and maintain vascular health, a critical factor for preventing long-term cardiovascular complications. What's powerful here is that no pharmaceutical drug was involved, just hydrogen-rich water, and yet it reversed or reduced several key cardiovascular symptoms of met metabolic syndrome in the mice. Now a quick word from our sponsor. Your body is a system, and when it's running right, you feel focused, energized, in flow. But sometimes we struggle to find that flow state. Why? Because there's too much static in our system, brain fog, fatigue, and inflammation. The Echo Flask clears the static by infusing your water with molecular hydrogen, a natural, science-backed gas that helps your body think sharper, recover faster, and run smoother. This is more than hydration. It's better focus, more energy, faster recovery, less internal stress, and long-term benefits that keep you sharp. When your water works harder, your whole system does too. Find your flow state with the Echo Flask hydrogen water bottle and get an unlimited supply of hydrogen water at home and on the go. Visit echowater.com and use code H2studies to get 10% off of your first order with Echo Hydrogen Water products. Now let's talk about medications. Statins, like atorvastatin, is some of the most commonly prescribed drugs in the world to lower cholesterol. But not everyone responds well, and side effects can be an issue at higher doses. In another animal study, researchers combined atorvastatin with magnesium hydride, a hydrogen-generated compound that creates molecular hydrogen inside the body. Here's what they found. Lipid levels dropped more with hydrogen plus atorvastatin than with the drug alone. Total cholesterol, LDL-C, and triglycerides were all significantly lower in the combination group. And that's critical because even the small reductions in LDL can translate to large reductions in cardiovascular risk. Liver safety improved. Atorvastatin can stress the liver, but with hydrogen, key liver enzymes like ALT and AST were better controlled, suggesting hydrogen may help protect the liver from statin-related liver strain. Inflammatory and oxidative stress markers were reduced. Levels of melondialdehyde, MDA, a marker of lipid peroxidation, were lower in the hydrogen group. And this shows hydrogen not only helps lower cholesterol, it also tackles the oxidative damage that makes cholesterol dangerous in the first place. And why does this matter? Because it shows that hydrogen can enhance drug performance while reducing side effects, a major breakthrough in metabolic disease management. So what do these two animal studies tell us? Hydrogen is more than a passive antioxidant. In models of metabolic syndrome, it boosts heart function, reduces inflammation and oxidative stress, improves lipid metabolism, and even enhances pharmaceutical outcomes. It works across systems, heart, liver, vessels, and blood, suggesting it's not just treating symptoms but improving the body's underlying metabolic balance. And the best part, these benefits come with no known toxicity and were delivered through water or simple hydrogen-generated materials. In short, even in controlled lab conditions, hydrogen delivers results. In addition to animal studies, multiple human studies have shown equally promising results. In a recent 24-week clinical trial, participants with metabolic syndrome drank high-concentration hydrogen-rich water three times per day. The results? Participants who drank hydrogen-rich water saw their total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, serum glucose, and serum A1C drop significantly. In addition, they saw fewer biomarkers of oxidative stress and inflammation. Another study out of Japan took it further. Researchers looked at people with full-blown metabolic syndrome as well as pre-metabolic syndrome over a three-month period. Those participants who also regularly engaged in physical activity saw improvements in oxidative stress biomarkers, glucose metabolism, and waist circumference. And here's the wild part. A third study showed that these benefits may actually start in the gut. 
Individuals with impaired fasting glucose who drank 1,000 milliliters of hydrogen-enriched water per day for eight weeks saw improvements in their gut microbiota. And those who came to the study with fatty livers were more likely to experience remission than the placebo group. So what does this all mean for you? Metabolic syndrome is real. It's rising. And it's not just about how you look. It's about your risk for diabetes, stroke, Alzheimer's, and more. Hydrogen water is not a magic bullet, but here's what makes it special. It's safe. It's easy to incorporate. It targets oxidative stress and inflammation at the root. It enhances existing strategies, exercise, diet, medication. It may even reprogram your gut and revitalize your cells. Hydrogen is small, but it's powerful. And the science is clear. It helps your body heal itself. That's it for today's episode of the Hydrogen Studies Podcast. If you know someone who's struggling with metabolic issues, forward this episode. Share the science, because change starts with understanding. And if you're ready to support your body with something as simple as water, with a little hydrogen, you might be surprised how far that can take you. Stay healthy, stay curious, and we'll catch you next time.